All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful the Akim out there, pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do, so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations. They may look like the heathen nations, but your father's sea line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. And Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And this is going to be another video addressing this clown, Vocab Malone, on who? Holy shit. It's Halakia. Sound loud. This is going to be another video addressing Vocab Malone on who's fulfilling these prophecies. A woman, a woman these things fulfill since he has such a hard on. You see? He's being so diligent in trying to disprove that we are the Israelites. Like I said in the last video, if you go back and watch it, if you're proclaiming that we are not the Israelites, if you're proclaiming that we are not the children of the Most High, you have you then have to go and show us, according to prophecy, or go and point out in the earth who's fulfilling these words according to the prophecies written in the book. And like I said in the last video, that's something that you can't do because you don't have the understanding of prophecy because the Most High is not dealing with you. You see, you're proclaiming that these 1948ers, these small hatters, these so-called Jews in the land of Israel, you're proclaiming that they are the chosen people. But when we go into prophecy, the things that the Most High speaks concerning his chosen people, those people are not fulfilling. So now you have to point out and show us who fulfills these things if you're, if you're telling us that we're not the Hebrew Israelites. Because everything that we do, you see, as so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, is to fulfill prophecy especially now in these last days with the prophets being raised up through the holy spirit of yahweh now this is isaiah 2 now this is a prophecy of what will happen in the last days once the israelites come into their glory now these 1948ers the small hatters you see the so-called jews they went back into the promised land you see by way of a balfour declaration in 1948 was that was that the fulfillment of prophecy vocab did they fulfill prophecy by doing that? If so, point it out. Go to the scriptures and let us know and show us, you see, where it said that the, the children of the Most High would go back into the land by way of man's help, by way of a man-made declaration. Show us the prophecy where it says that. You can't find it because the Most High didn't speak that. But let's say they are the chosen people of the most hypothetically they're the they're, they're the they're the israelites these 1948ers are right now let's show you what's to take what's what is supposed to take place once the chosen people go back into the land of israel because every a hey, the most has laid out everything in these scriptures everything that must come to pass according to the word of the heavenly father yahweh it has to come to pass or uh, uh, the Most High will be found a liar. And we know, according to what's written in the scriptures, it is impossible for the Most High to lie. If he spoke something, it's going to come to pass. If he said it, best believe that he's going to do it. Now, this is Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. It says what? The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Future prophecy, right? And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. Now, when you understand what the uh, mountains represent in the scriptures, they represent governments. You see? This is why you have a thing called summit meetings. What is a summit? A summit is the top of a mountain where all the top uh, government officials meet to discuss things, man. So, in the last days, the mountain of Yahweh's house, the government of Israel, because the Most High's house is what? The, the house of Israel. You see? It's going to be established in the top of all the mountains, meaning what? The government of Israel, the Israelites' government, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is going to be the top government on the planet Earth in the last days. And it says, what? Well, all nations shall flow unto it. To do what? 
to learn from the Israelites. If these people who proclaim to be the chosen people in the land of Israel today, if they are the chosen people, guess what? This, this should have came to pass in 1948. That would have been a fulfillment of prophecy. But did that take place? No, it did not. Why? It's because they are not the Israelites. That's why it didn't come to pass. This is why you don't see all nations flowing unto Israel. The majority of the world hates the, uh, the, the state of Israel, man. And that's just the fact of the matter. That's not hate speech or anything. That's just the fact of the matter. Nations are not flowing unto that place. Now let's see what else is supposed to happen with the chosen people. And let's see if those people who are living over there in the state of Israel fulfills this. Verse 3 says what? And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the government of Yahweh, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, from Jerusalem. Did, did, when did this take place, vocab? Where is this happening in the earth? Because you are proclaiming that these people who are living in that land right now, they are the chosen people. So guess what that means? This prophecy should have came to pass in 1948. You should have had all nations going to the land of Israel to learn the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You should have had all nations flowing into the promised land to learn the righteous ways that we find that we find written in the scriptures. You see, there is a, they are supposed to be taught by the chosen people. It says what? For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. Is that happening right now? Is the state of Israel teaching the world the righteous ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah? Of course they're not. First of all, that land is filled, about, filled with idolatry. You got three different religious uh, temples erected in the land, man. That's not according to prophecy. You got Christianity over there. You got Islam over there. And you got Judaism over there, man. They're not teaching, them, teaching the world the ways of the Most High. This is what prophecy states is supposed to be happening. And it should have been happening ever, ever since 1948. When we look up, when we look over there to the state of Israel, do we see that happening? No. You see the complete opposite happening. What do you see? You see Pink City. You see Kosher Port. You see them molesting children by circumcising them with their mouths, man. That's not of the righteous ways of the Most High. So why aren't they fulfilling these prophecies, vocab? You know why? It's because they are not the Israelites. This prophecy is not for them to fulfill. It's for us to fulfill once the Lord Yahweh Shah comes to save us from the land of our captivities. Because the Israelites are going to be the beacon of light for the world. We're going to be the, the example or, or, or the standard to live by. And we're going to teach the world the righteous ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah once Yahweh Shah comes to take us home, man. This hasn't happened yet. And like, it, like I said, if you proclaim that these people are the chosen people, this should have came to pass. This prophecy should have been fulfilled in 1948. But guess what? It wasn't. Why? It's because they are not the Israelites. They don't, they don't fit what the prophecy said would be happening with the chosen people of the Mosai in the last days. Point blank, period. If I'm lying, vocab, prove me wrong. Go into the scriptures and show me what prophecy they're fulfilling over there in the state of Israel right now. You can't do it. Now, something else, something else that's supposed to be happening. Isaiah 2 and 4. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. Why? Because we're going to have to get the nations in order once we come back into power. We're going to have to beat the righteous ways into them, man. You see? We're going to have to train them up in the righteous ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's what's going to happen once the Israelites go back into that land. Once we start to erect the kingdom of heaven, the righteousness of the Lord will go forth. You see? All throughout the world. It's going to be the standard of the earth. This is what you're going to have to live by once the Israelites come back into power. This should have been taking place ever since 1948. So, so what we shouldn't be seeing in the earth right now is adultery running rampant. Murder running rampant, theft and robbery running rampant. We shouldn't see homosexuality running rampant, lesbianism running rampant, transgenderism running rampant. We shouldn't see all these things being exalted in the earth if the chosen people are back in the land. 
Why? It's because the righteous ways of the Most High, you see, will be exalted all throughout the earth. But we don't see that happening. Why? It's because the Israelites are still in captivity awaiting, for the, awaiting their Lord and Savior to come and save them, man. That's why. Now, verse 4 tells us what? And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. So all these weapons of war that these nations have, they're going to they're gonna be melted down and they're going to be turned into agriculture tools. Why? It's because according to the prophecy, you heathen nations are going into slavery under the Israelites and you're going to build up their kingdom. You see? So all these AKs and M4s and all these tanks, these things are going to be used to cultivate the land, man. You see? Now it tells us what? Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. When we look into the earth, what's happening? You see constant skirmishes between different nations. You see nations doing what? Uh, increasing they're militaries, man. You see all manner of wars. Hey, so so this is the thing. There should have been no more war on earth after 1948. After after the uh, after the so-called chosen people, right? Went back into the land in 1948. There should have been no more wars. There should have been there should be no more weapons being developed. But do you know on the first night that the state of Israel was established? They were bombed by Egypt and entered into what? A six-day war? That doesn't fulfill prophecy. So who are these people? And why ain't nothing that the Most High said, uh, said about his chosen people coming to pass when you look at these people? You know why? Because they are not the Israelites. They are not the chosen people. The Most High, has, he's made it clear. That specific things are supposed to happen. You see, when it comes to his people and those people who live in the, in the land of Israel, that state of Israel today, they are not the people, vocab alone. So where are the Israelites? Because this must come to pass. You Christians love to say, oh, the Most High has done away with the Israelites. They are no more. They don't exist no more. But that's bullshit because according to the prophecy. The Most High says he has it's things. The Most High said will be uh, it's supposed to come to pass with his people. How can the Most High bring his people into rest and, and save them from their sorrow and their oppression if they don't exist no more? So you you just telling me that these prophecies are just floating there, never to be fulfilled? Hell nah, man. You see, these prophecies are here for us as the true chosen people of the Lord to fulfill them, man, through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, according to His will, man. So back to the point. Why do you see nations building up their nuclear arsenals? Why do you see nations continually developing new uh, tank technology? Why do you see uh, uh, it's a fucking gun store on almost every corner, man? The fucking the sale of ammunition and guns has skyrocketed over the last few years. You see? Why why are these things happening? If the chosen people went back into the land in 1948, that's a question that must be answered, vocab. You love to try to grill us and and do all this other this 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 BS, but let's stick to what the prophecies say. Why hasn't this been fulfilled yet, vocab Malone? You know why? It's because that state of Israel is illegitimate, and those are not the people. The Most High's people are still in captivity. Or waiting for the Lord Yahweh to come and save us, save us, and then these things will be fulfilled. Why? It's because we are the Israelites. Point blank, period. And if we're not, show us who is. Show us who else is going to fulfill this. Because the Israelites have to be in the earth somewhere. Because the most high spoke words concerning the, the, the Israelites and what would be happening with them in the last days and things that they must must fulfill as his people. According to promises that the Most High made unto their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those things must come to pass. So show us who are the Israelites if it's not us. Who else is fulfilling these prophecies? Or who else is going to fulfill these prophecies? We need to, we need to know. 
You see? So I think that's what we're about to start doing, man. We're going to start grilling you damn Christians on, on these prophecies. You love to try to disprove that we are the Israelites, but the thing is, you can't, you can't, you can't prove that we're not. You see? According to prophecy, you can't prove that we're not. You have to show us, <laughs> just like we show you, go into the prophecies and show us who are fulfilling these things. Who are these things spoken about? Where are the Israelites? That 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 must be known in the last days, because don't the most I tell you that he's gonna raise up his people in the last days and bring them back unto him? That might be the next video to show you that. And we can see who fulfills this, man. You see? So I just wanted to bring that out, man. We're going to continue to stay on this nigga vocal head, man. You see? Come with all this Jesus loves there. That's all they got. What about the prophecies, vocal? Did not the Messiah say he came to fulfill the prophecies? So what does the, what does the prophecy say? Did not the most, did not Yahweh say his meat is to do the will of him that sent him? Where can we find the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh? In the prophecies, man. You see? The same prophecies that the Lord, Yahweh Shah, the one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, said that he was he was set up to fulfill, man. So once again, a vocab Malone, who else is fulfilling these prophecies? Because these people that you're trying to protect and defend, they don't fulfill them. And why is that? It's because they're not the Israelites. We are. Point blank period, man. Hey, prove prove to us otherwise. You see? Been asking the same question over and over and over again. We still haven't received the answer. But yeah, man. Hey, the prophecies say what they say, man. The prophecies stand. The prophecies are going to be fulfilled. So yeah, man. I just wanted to bring it out real quick through the spirit of Pai Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And with that, I'm gonna give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakach Wadash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful that I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba, Abba.